Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jonathan and Jess. Uh, today, we are excited to make a, a big announcement for our family. And you probably already heard, but we are going to Africa. And uh, we're just doing a quick little two week trip, um, but with intentions to go much longer uh, in the future. Um, you, you probably already heard this and you may already know the context, but today I just want to take a dive into like the prophetic journey around how this came about and why we're doing it, what we're looking to do. Um, I really want to give a lot of context there because it's actually pretty insane, the supernatural journey God's had us on that has confirmed this decision. Um, and if you don't know, we, we do a lot of different ministries and businesses that are focused on expanding the kingdom. Right, it's just the overarching principle is just expanding the kingdom around the world. We believe God has called us to believe for the great commission to be fulfilled in our lifetime. Okay, and so there's many different aspects. Of course, that's a that's a whole body of Christ mission, not just us or whatever. That's a massive um, undertaking. But if you don't know, we have a, a initiative called Kingdom Accelerator, and that's kind of the core focus. And this is one of those things. We have kind of real estate investing that's, that's helping kingdom-minded people expand their impact through that. But then we also have ministries that are focused on helping people. So today I want to dive into kind of the backstory. Jess had one vision and one prophetic journey that led us to Africa. And then the same for me simultaneously of course most of you probably know our story we were drug addicts we were struck we were out there in the world lost and jesus radically touched us and changed our lives and so um we just want to dive into that yeah so um and ava's about to join say hey ava Hi. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go to africa yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, Thank you, <laughs> you Thank want to give high fives? Sure. So, I, when I was actually in rehab um, eight, nine years ago, I was praying. There was this one moment when I was just pursuing God's voice. I was learning, learning His voice over my life. And I was just praying and meditating on the Lord. And He gave me this vision of a little curly-headed toddler dancing in the dirt of Africa. And I didn't really understand what it was. Here I am, single, not married, no kids. So I was like, okay, maybe this is like a missionary kid or whatever. I just didn't really understand the pieces. And then this past year, God brought it back to my memory of how uh, he had given me this vision and how this vision was actually of Kai and we are to take our family to Africa and do this mission, missions trip and see how we can serve and what um, the beginning of this journey looks like, partnering and um, doing... Uh, yes, yeah, so we have a curly-headed little boy that neither one of us have blonde curly hair. And yeah. honestly, you could say there's some traces here and there in our family, but nothing like super connected. Okay, so she had this vision of a curly-headed little boy dancing in the streets of Africa and had no idea that we would have a curly-headed little boy. Yes. So when we, so it, either way, it's, it's really insane, her journey there. And then simultaneously, while she's having that vision, um, around that same time, I'm in ministry college. And one of my mentors and the dean of the college, named Dr. Ron, um, he he brought this group over, this this SOS Adventures over to uh, visit the school, and you know they they catered. They're very supernatural. I mean, they're very they operate signs and wonders. And he looks at me, pulls me aside, and he's never done this before. He pulls me aside and he says, "This is your tribe right here." You mm. know. And I thought about it and I said, yeah, it is. Because I mean, it, when, I, when I started talking with these guys, this, the leadership over there, they're preaching all this stuff. It resonated so hardcore in my spirit. And I ended up actually applying to be a part of their team as a staff standpoint. And things kind of fell through. Like I think God just kind of moved me into starting a house church and doing a few other things. Um, but I still felt there's a strong calling there 
and I forgot about it for many years. And then Jess brought that vision up and then randomly God put it on my heart to call them. And they told me, oh my goodness, it's crazy that you're calling us now. This was just like last year. It's crazy that you're calling us now because we just launched a ministry, a business and ministry um, initiative um, and we want you to be a part. So as we go into this, it's we're looking at what is God doing over there and we want to see a massive acceleration in, in that part of Africa and all over Africa through SOS Adventures. So we're just looking to be a part of what they're doing over there. And then as we go forward, we want to see um, business leaders, ministry leaders rise up and have a massive collaboration with ministries like SOS so that we could propel the gospel forward. So we will be keeping you guys updated with uh, as, as we go down this journey. But it looks like September 30th, we will be going to Africa, preaching the gospel, um, healing the sick, and casting out devils. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be fun. And Kai's going to dance on the streets. and That's and right. Ava is going to be praying over the sick. That's right. <laughs> and the cool thing, too, is like a lot of the ministry is like focused on um, even children over there. Yeah. And so we will also be partnering with the children's ministry. So the kids will be able to minister and experience that. And um, we'll all get to be a part of it. So I love that culture, the, the family culture that um, we'll be able to be a part of. <laughs> yeah, so, so alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. Crazy prophetic journey. I just prophesy over all of you praying or all right. of you watching this that God will begin unlocking dreams and visions in your life more yes. than ever before. And we just speak that just yeah. even listening to this testimony and what God did in this situation. I just speak that over your life, over your family that you would see and uh, with clarity, you would Sorry. you would go forth and you would know what he's saying for you and your future. So That's right. God bless you. Please be praying for us. We're looking forward to keeping you guys updated. Yeah. And I just want to share this too. Don't, um, I, I just feel like the dreams of the old will come to pass. I feel like God wants mm. you to know that, that the dreams of the old, um, whether it's, 10 years ago, 15, 20 years ago, God is going to fulfill his promises and his word. So just keep praying and contending um, for those promises and those, those specific things that God has spoken over your life. Amen. So we bless you guys. Thanks for being a part of our family and our journey. Um, we know that God is going to continue to move powerfully in this community. So we bless you. Bye. <laughs>